Hello everyone, my name is Joseph Velasquez and I'm the head of printmaking at Florida Atlantic University and this is my channel Print Club. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, on this channel I'm going to be featuring uh, just different demonstrations on uh, how to print at home during this time of COVID. Uh, but also I'm going to share some of my prints from my collection, do some reviews of some products, break down some of the ink additives and other tricks of the trade. Uh, one of the things that I'll be showing today is printing using the tortilla press. Now the tortilla press was popularized and brought to me by my friends at Tres Gatos Press. Please follow them on Instagram. Those two amazing artists are really helped spreading the ink. And that's something that I really got into with my endeavor with my colleague Greg Nanny when we started Drive By Press, a mobile printmaking operation while in grad school. We literally loaded a press in the back of our pickup truck. It was like a 2,000 pounds Pelican etching press. And we drove around the country for like eight years. But now as a professor, now I have students. And now my students are at home. And they don't have access to the press. But as an instructor, I really want them to have the same outcomes as they would have in the normal studio environment. So it's really pushed me to look for ways uh, to make this more accommodating for them. I'm going to first print... Let me do a linoleum so I can show you all. And here I'm using Gamblin textile ink. Okay. I helped develop the textile ink with my colleague Greg. They're not officially a sponsor, but uh, Gamblin, if you're listening, hit your boy up, all right? Uh, this ink is fantastic. Yes, you can print on fabric. You can use this for patches. Uh, you can also just print on paper and then use it for chincolet. Now for this process, the papers that you can use are your typical printmaking papers. With some of the thicker papers, you may want to lightly spritz with water. You don't need to soak them like you're printing an etching, uh, but it does help out if it's a little damp. We're gonna be printing it traditionally with the image and ink up, paper on top. And you'll see, rather than using a blanket, I use a yoga mat. Now the presses that I'm using, they're a little bit different from the ones that uh, you might see on YouTube or the ones that um, Trescato uses and that I changed the orientation of the hinge and the press bed and I'll get into that but first off let me use and print with this one place this down and I'm going to just simply put the paper right on top right here and I'm gonna place the yoga mat here. Now when I'm printing with the yoga mat, I have one cut to the side of the press bed, right? But what I also wanna do is I want to have an extra little strip and I'm gonna show you why I, and where I'm gonna use that. So that's going down and I'm just adding my pressure. And now I'm just gonna add this little piece here to the end. And so what that does is just raises it so the pressure isn't so much here on the back hinge. It's gonna be a little bit more further there. All right, now that that's done, remove the blanket. Now check this out. This isn't no fancy editing or anything. Pulling that straight up. Oh my goodness. You see that leno there? That is the king cat. This is for Tres Gatos. Check out Batman and brought that eyeball right there. He's just chilling, checking things out. And I have that because Chicano Batman, before I knew there was a band called that, I referred to that as my grandfather and myself of just being able to problem solve, you know? And I love that part of printmaking, the alchemy, problem solving, and the open sourceness of what we're doing here. So if you make a tortilla press and you want to share, make sure you tag at Tres Gatos and then hit me up. Speaking of Chicano Batman, here is a Batman image that I've done on PVC. Now this is quarter inch PVC that I have my students carve on uh, just because it's a little bit more accessible. It is just as easy as carving on linoleum. Now you don't get wood grain and that's what some of the traditionalists like, you don't get wood grain. Well, you know what? You can carve wood grain into it, man. Come on, it's COVID. Let's just print. So let me ink this up. And I'm not over inking it. I'm not putting a bunnet on there. I'm trying to get it on just even coverage. Nice and thin. All right, that should do it. So put that there. This 
with the eight by 10 sheet of paper. Place that down. Yoga mat on top. Press it. Lift it up. Now I'm gonna do the strip. And again, that just kind of evens it up from the hinge. And that's one thing that I've done. The traditional tortilla presses are gonna be closer to this little guy right here, where the length is where the hinge is. And I've changed the design to put the hinge down on the width. And I have found that by doing that, you don't have to rotate it around. All right, so that's with that side. You could already see it works here. Put this up here. Look how solid that is, y'all. Boom. <laughs> there we have that. And then let me do one more for y'all before I end this quick little video. Now this little guy here, this is the small model that I have on my website. This is the three and a half by four inch. Now what I'm doing with these, I'm selling them on my website along with block printed t-shirts and fine art prints. As I'm raising money for the print club so I can bring in virtual visiting artists, I can upgrade my technology here and can just keep on bringing you more content. So I'm not starting a Patreon or nothing like that. I'm just doing it all myself. You can just go to my website, josephvelasquez.com, click on the store, and support it. All right, so I have just this little bitty Leno of some skulls here. I'm gonna place that down, put the three inch, three and a half by four inch paper on top here. My baby yoga mats, right on top right there. Simply press down. Boom, boom, boom. I'm gonna move this strip. Where's that strip? I'm gonna put the strip up top here. Towards the end. All right, let's check that one out. Look at that. <laughs> so these little presses are ideal for patches or shin -kole. So we can see with the prints here that using whether I'm using PVC or linoleum that you can really make a nice impression. It picks up the detail well enough. It makes it pretty solid. It works well for using paper or fabric. Just need to make sure that you're using a yoga mat, okay? Uh, thank you for visiting my channel. Please subscribe, leave a comment. Take care, bye-bye.